VISTA is the Domestic Peace Corps, is what's most commonly referred to. Uh, it is part of the AmeriCorps National Service Program, uh, founded back in the 1960s as part of President Johnson's War on Poverty. Uh, and it's really an anti-poverty focused program. It places full-time volunteers in low-income communities, in nonprofit organizations, and other community agencies to help re reduce and eliminate barriers for people living in poverty to lead a more successful life. So VISTAs do capacity building work, they help create sustainability, um, they're doing the community organizing that makes a community stronger and better and better able to serve low-income people. Traditionally, in the last 40, 50 years, I mean, VISTAs have been responsible for things like Head Start, for credit unions, for neighborhood watches. Um, so the history of VISTAs in communities has been really exciting. And the, I think the biggest impacts that VISTAs have, though, um, are about changing the way that communities do business. Um, so they're helping them reevaluate their systems and their programs, and they're helping them make connections and reduce duplication across services, which we see in the nonprofit world all the time. Uh, they're recruiting uh, volunteers and they're doing resource generation and they're just helping a community get organized to be able to better serve all of its residents uh, and the, the impacts vary on community and they vary based on the organization that the VISTA serves but I think their biggest role is that they're there to bring a fresh perspective and they have this laser focus on you know community change and they're able to just look at things differently and bring the right people to the table. The Department of Public Instruction receives a grant from the Corporation for National and Community Service to sponsor this VISTA program. Uh, we receive this money on a, a, every three years, and it's a three-year grant cycle. Uh, and then we recruit and train and support and sponsor the volunteers and the agencies. So we're kind of an intermediary host site. So we recruit um, public libraries and public schools to host our VISTA members. They apply for VISTA members, and then we have an approval and review process and then we place these volunteers in sites across the state. And then we continue to work with not just the VISTA, but the site, the site supervisor, the community, the volunteers, you know, whoever is involved in the project. Um, we're just that support piece in the whole thing. The DPI VISTA project started and has been for the last 10 years focused on family involvement in schools. And then in 2009, when the Congress passed the um, American Recovery and Reinvestment Act, which put more money into economic recovery work and um, financial literacy and those kinds of revitalization projects, VISTA received some of that money. And Wisconsin also received the chance to apply for some of those funds. And so in talking to some other staff here at DPI, including the public library development team, we really identified public libraries as a great recipient for volunteers who would do job recovery, economic recovery, financial literacy training, provide those kinds of services. And so working with some folks here at DPI, reaching out to public libraries across the state, uh, we developed a work plan and an application and developed this vision for what our VISTAs would do in libraries and how that would be different from the rest of our project. I have been really excited by our library part of our VISTA project. Uh, it's, it's unique. Uh, as far as we know, there aren't other VISTA projects in public libraries anywhere in the country, and so we feel excited that we've made this connection and this match to public libraries, and the need is increasing. Uh, it's not going away anytime soon. You know, the unemployment is, is increasing, um, and folks are looking for services that can't be provided from by job centers or workforce development or other local community partners. Um, libraries are going to be a part of this, and so I've been excited to see how we've had an impact on the five libraries that we have worked with in the last couple of years and the establishment of the Opportunity Center in Fond du Lac, um, the Community Resource Center and the Racine Public Library, the Job Help Program that has been developed in the Madison Public Library and all of the branches throughout the city. Um, it has been exciting. You know, it's, it's unfortunate that the, that the need is increasing, but it's really rewarding to see uh, the hard work being put in and paid off, uh, and we're hearing such positive feedback from the libraries, from the patrons, from the communities, that it really, it really goes to show um, how vital and important libraries are into 
into helping people uh, go and get further employment, look for jobs, um, redo their resumes, learn how to enter the workforce again. Uh, you know, VISTAs are helping those people get back on their feet.